Oh, look. We got a rock. Oh, we got a big rock. We got a big rock. Ah, ah, ah. Here at Shasta Lake on this beautiful summer smoky morning. Ready to go fish for some bass. And I really hope they're hungry. They weren't yesterday, but they should be today because they apparently didn't eat at all yesterday. Just want to know what's in here because I don't know. Oh, bro, it's not a camera lens. He's so cute. <laughs> Dude, this is like the one that Sean Bowles has. Look at it. Bro. Alrighty. Here we go. Baby is ready. <laughs> you can just eat it. Ah, yummy. There is a little house right here if any of you are looking for a temporary rental. It'd be pretty cool to live in this thing. So Nedrig, really common bass fishing now, use these flat-ish headed jig heads. And basically you just kind of drag whatever you're using on the bottom and it stands up kind of straight when you're not using it and bass just really like it. It's not always the way you'll catch the most fish, but you will always catch fish on it, which is nice. I'm using a lightweight, old, ugly, sick, very first fishing pole, yes, very first like adult fishing pole. I'm using eight pound test which that is not a normal bass setup at all. Bass guys like to use like braid and stuff, but, or the, I mean, some of them use mono like this, but they just like, I don't know, they usually use heavier stuff. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Now get out of here. It's a lot harder when you get a fish that size to like bring it up with a lightweight rod. This is definitely more like a trout setup. It's pretty late in the day. I don't really expect to catch anything on top water, but it is probably the coolest feeling in the world to catch something on top water. So we're gonna try. I gotta throw this thing on there just because I've never used one of these whopper floppers, but they are so, so sweet. It's like a little motorboat. <laughs> That's funny, bro. This is my new favorite thing. Somebody once made the point that if fish could scream, then nobody would fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time for unpopular opinions, just because I can. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is maybe the best Star Wars movie. Right up there with Revenge of the Sith. Changed my mind. Dude, like, what are the fish fishes doing? Are they taking nap poo time? Cause I don't have time for them to nap. Fishy? 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 Fishy! This is how Ahsoka would cast, I think. Oh, she got a Oh, look. We got a rock. Oh, we got a big rock. We got a big rock. Ah! 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 Dude, you ready? Top water blow up. And three, two, one. Two thousand years later. We gotta find ourselves a fish, a fish, 
We gotta find ourselves a fish. Fish. Qui-Gon would say there's always a bigger fish. Like, at this point, I'd be okay with like, there's always another fish. The thing I don't understand is exactly where the fish would be sitting right now. If they would be really close to the shore or out farther, I kind of assume they'll be pretty close, but also a lot of times I think that and then I'll eat one out there and then I'll catch a fish like before I even reel it in, so. Are you joking me? They didn't wave? What the heck? Maybe the people on the jet skis will wave. Let's see if the jet skis wave. That's okay. Guess they didn't want to wave. It's whatever, it's fine. Oh, there we go. Fish on, fish on. Oh my gosh, he might be kind of big. Dude, this might be a big fish. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it is. Bro. Oh, he's not huge, but he's pretty decent, bro. He's kind of heavy. So we're gonna grab the line. Ow, his teeth hurt. Ah, bro. Dude, there we go. This might be the spot to be since it's so much deeper. I feel kind of dumb for not thinking of that before exactly. Let's see, like, they're funny because like they have these like little tiny teeth. You see how my thumb's all like torn up? Like it doesn't usually hurt super bad, but they kind of just like their little teeth just kind of like mess up your skin. Wow, what a weenie. Talk about Weenie Hunt Jr. Weenie Hot Junior, Weenie Hot Junior. Alrighty, gonna wrap it up. Not the most successful day, but caught a couple decent fish and uh, pretty stoked with that. Nothing on the Whopper Plopper, but we will. You know, like Qui-Gon says, there's always a bigger fish and another fish. He doesn't say that, but I say that, so. Bro, this is a quality environment. Ow. Can I sit on that rock? Oh, we can. <sighs> you're just you're just the best. Oh, fishing with you is it's the best. I don't like have kids. I don't know how you hold a baby. What do you do? His ears kind of get in the way. This is why humans don't have such big ears. Oh, I'm gonna try to get out. Dude, this literally looks like Yoda's little hut on Dagobah. Today, super cool. Learned a lot. Early is good. I think, I think the action is better before it heats up. Um, but as it got later, did find some fish moving into deeper water. So now I know, especially in the middle of the day, maybe lean towards some deeper holes rather than sticking in the shallows and throw whopper ploppers, even if it's not catching fish, just because it's good for the soul. That would be my advice. And get a boat or a kayak or a floaty, something, air mattress even. Or get a screen door Use flex seal, put some sides, and make a boat out of it. You could do that. You could do that. This has been the Padawan Angler with Greg, the Padawan Angler. And uh, we're gonna wrap it up. May the fish be with you.
Wow, that was an awkward outro. Wow. Yep, glad that's over. Like and subscribe. I'd rather kiss a Wookiee.